Monkey can binge watch an entire Netflix series, and by the end, he'll say, just one more episode. Even though he knows it's already 3 a.m., Monkey can scroll through TikTok like his thumbs have a life of their own, and before he knows it, hours have passed. Monkey can play video games for hours, dodging every possible distraction, even if he's just pressing the same button over and over again. But, ask Monkey to study for 30 minutes? Suddenly, it's like he's been sentenced to life in the banana mines. Monkey promises to work for an hour, but five minutes later, he's at the fridge, thinking, cleaning counts as productivity, right? Here's the paradox. Monkey knows studying, exercising, and doing productive work would benefit him long term, but he still chooses the quick hits, the instant dopamine from games, social media, and binge watching. Why does Monkey feel this way? Why do some monkeys seem to wake up every day ready to conquer the world? while others would rather curl up and nap until the next snack comes along. And more importantly, is there a way to trick monkeys' brain into liking hard things? Part 1. Dopamine, the monkey's fuel. Let's talk about dopamine. Now, before you roll your eyes thinking, oh, not another brain chemical explanation, just hear me out. Dopamine isn't the pleasure molecule like most people think. Nope, it's not what makes monkey feel good. It's the chemical that makes monkey want. It's the craving chemical, the one that says, there's a banana, go chase it. Dopamine's job is to keep you moving towards something. It's not about the reward, it's about the anticipation. It's like hanging a shiny object in front of monkey, except instead of a shiny object, it's a bag of chips. So, the next time monkey is glued to a screen, remember, it's dopamine at work, making him addicted to chasing that next shiny thing. Part 2. Rat Experiment Revelations but here's where things get real interesting. Scientists once did a study on rats, and no, it wasn't about teaching them to play chess, though that would have been cool. They gave the rats a lever. Every time they pressed it, dopamine got zapped into their brains. Guess what? The rats went insane. They pressed that lever over and over again. They literally ignored food and water, pressing the button for hours, until they collapsed. Then, scientists tried something new. They blocked the dopamine. The rats turned into lazy sacks of fur. They wouldn't even move for food. They weren't depressed. They were just unmotivated. Here's the kicker. Monkey's brain is pretty much the same. Dopamine doesn't give you pleasure. It drives you to get more pleasure. Dopamine doesn't care if the banana is real or if it's the 100th time you've seen it. It just wants monkey to chase it. Part 3. Dopamine Tolerance. The Candy Banana Effect. Now, monkey's brain is a sneaky little thing. It tries to stay balanced. This is called homeostasis. Imagine your body is like a thermostat. Too hot. It sweats. Too cold. It shivers. With dopamine, it works the same way. If monkey floods his brain with constant dopamine from games, social media, and junk food, his brain adapts. It dials down dopamine receptors. Think of it like drinking alcohol. The first few shots hit hard, but after a while, you need more to feel the same buzz. So, now, when Monkey looks at a textbook, his brain compares that to a dopamine overdose from TikTok or video games. A textbook? One sad sparkler. No wonder studying feels like torture. Monkey's brain has recalibrated. It's spoiled by all those candy bananas and the plain bananas, aka real work. Just don't taste as good anymore. Part 4. Dopamine Detox. Giving up the candy bananas. But here's where Monkey can pull the ultimate hack, a dopamine detox. Picture this, you're used to eating candy bananas every day at a five-star buffet. Then, one day, you're stranded on a desert island, and you're starving. Suddenly, that plain banana looks like the best thing ever. That's the idea behind a dopamine detox. Get rid of the artificial candy bananas for a while, so that when you come back to plain bananas, work, study, exercise, they'll feel amazing again. You've got two options here. Radical detox. One whole day, no phone. No internet, no games, no junk food. Monkey has to sit with boredom, and when it hits hard, suddenly writing in a journal or reading a book feels kind of fun. Light detox. Once a week, Monkey takes a break from one high dopamine behavior. Maybe no social media on Sundays. Maybe no video games on Wednesdays. This mini reset will help lower dopamine tolerance and make the plain bananas taste sweet again. Part 5. Reward system. Work first, bananas later. Monkey knows he can't detox forever. Bananas are fun, after all. But now, 
Monkey's figured out a clever little system. Work first, reward later. If Monkey starts with the candy banana, like scrolling social media in bed, forget about studying after that. The motivation? Gone. Instead, Monkey flips the script. Work first, bananas later. For example, Monkey studies for an hour and earns 15 minutes of his favorite snack. After eight hours of work, two hours of guilt-free fun. The trick? Monkey never gets his reward before the work. Bananas come after. Part 6. Five Tricks to Outsmart Monkey Brain Now that monkey's dopamine levels are reset, here are five tricks to make work feel less painful, and maybe even a little bit fun. 1. Gamification Monkey loves games, so why not turn work into one? Set goals, keep score, earn banana points. Every time Monkey checks something off his to-do list, it's like leveling up in a game. 2. Start small. Monkey hates climbing mountains, but he doesn't mind taking one small step. Just tell him, you only have to work for two minutes. Once he starts, momentum takes over. 3. Instant bananas. Monkey thrives on quick rewards. After finishing a task, give him a mini banana. Maybe one page written equals a snack. 20 push-ups? Time for a quick TV break. Instant gratification, just smaller. 4. Monkey squad. Monkey alone is lazy. But when he's in a group, suddenly he feels the need to keep up. Studies with friends. Works with colleagues. Accountability is the secret sauce to making work feel less dreadful. 5. Identity shift. If monkey keeps saying, I'm lazy, he stays lazy. But if monkey starts saying, I'm disciplined, then guess what? Monkey becomes disciplined. What you believe about yourself shapes what you do. Part 7. The choice of bananas. At the end of the day, dopamine isn't the enemy. It's the reason monkey builds, creates, and survives. The real question is, where does monkey get his dopamine? From endless scrolling, video games, and candy bananas, or from real growth, learning, and progress? Monkey doesn't need to give up dopamine. He just needs to crave the right bananas. Monkey doesn't naturally like hard things. But with a little detox, smart rewards, and a few hacks, those hard things won't feel like torture anymore. So the next time Monkey stares at his to-do list and thinks, I'd rather nap, remember this. It's not about forcing discipline. It's about outsmarting your brain. You can't change the way you feel about hard things overnight. But with the right strategies, you can change the way you think about them. The only question is, which bananas will you choose? If you're ready to outsmart your own monkey brain, hit that like button, subscribe for more brain hacks, and drop a comment with the hardest task you're procrastinating on. Let's tackle it together, one banana at a time.